Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back, welcome back, guys. Yeah. Anyway, for this video, I'm gonna be reacting to top five most entitled Karens of all time, guys. If you don't know, Karens are like grumpy people, all ladies, like all white ladies, like racist people. Anyway, let's just get right into it, guys. My neighbor is currently singing right now. I don't know if you can hear her voice. Filipinos love to sing. She's singing one of the Tagalog songs. He was not wearing gloves and he took my credit card and then he gave it back to me and I said, you should be wearing gloves. And he goes, oh, I just washed my hands. So the current is the one holding the camera, right? So what's your policy? Okay. So you as a manager, I mean, all of these are minors. So you as a manager, it's your responsibility to make sure that they're safe, right? Yes. My, the ones that are this is the manager. Okay, well, there's still children at 18, right, in a way? I wonder why do some people have to make big issue out of like small, small mistakes? I don't understand some people, guys. Yeah, really. These people really need help, though. Anyway, continue. What are you gonna do, Karen? That's not my name. My name's Karen. Okay. You okay, Karen? Oh, okay. Get my tag. Yeah, my tag. She got owned. Get my tag, Karen. She got really owned. So get my name straight. Get my tag. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All because my car is locked. Three cars. It's essential for me. Oh, this is now someone complaining to the store. The government gets. The government said no food storage. Yeah. The government says I can have food storage. Does it not? Oh, I want to see this list. This is great. Oh my goodness. Why do they have to feel entitled to everything? You can have food storage, can you not? Essentials, kitchen gadgets. That would be a kitchen gadget. Cleaning supplies, paper products, any of the food storage. Holy crap, it says food storage. Who gets to say what's food storage? I'm storing food in that. How do you know I'm not storing food in that? I'm telling you, I'm storing food in that. In your little government list, oh, well, let's get a picture of this. Government list. Says oh food storage. my goodness. Oh, I already got it. I already got it, Melissa. I already got it. So you're telling me you're refusing to sell me food storage items. Yes. And this is bad storage items. I'll bet you it says dot storage on here. Oh, oh, I'm going to the computer. <laughs> see all of this. I don't really understand these people. Right? Okay, and what was your name, sir? You don't want to tell me. That's okay. I got your face. All right. What? Speak in Chinese. Speak in Chinese. Shut up. Speak in Chinese. Shut up. You're rude. The, the heck? You're rude. Look at her. Look at it. I was just putting it. Look at it. The poster. Yo, why is she acting so bossy there? Trust me. One, if I'm one of those people that she's complaining to, I would really tell her to peace. I would really tell. I would really tell her to piss off. I would really tell her to get the f out of the store. Oh my goodness. If you want to talk to me, you bring your manager here, you idiot. Or go speak Chinese with your other staff. Tell me somewhere else. Get him somewhere else. What the hell is going on? Did he start fighting with all your animals? Then get him in the back. That is rude. Shut up and get out of here, you idiot. Oh, this is rude. This is rude. You cannot treat people like that, calling them idiots. Look, they're so nice. They they're not even acting aggressive towards her. And I don't understand why. It's rude. You rude. Shut up. You rude. Oh, there's another one. Another one. 
Oh, this is a male. Oh, that's an old lady. Yo, why are old people so grumpy? Some people are so entitled, feel, they feel entitled to everything. Like, even if they walk into a store, if the sign in the store is not really according to what they think, they just go crazy. I mean, I don't understand some people these days. Hey, Cindy, I'm just giving you a right now. All right, ma'am, ma'am, she was just doing her job. No, you don't chase somebody. She was just doing her job. She was just doing her job. Oh, man. She was just doing her job. She's crazy. I don't understand some people, okay? I'm crazy. I don't really understand like the ones that are from those those really wealthy countries, like the first world countries, like the U.S. and Great Britain and the other countries. Like these people should have more common sense than the ones, the countries, the people from the countries that are not not developed or still developing. Like they should have like the real common sense, like the real understanding between how to, you know, just talk politely. If something goes wrong, don't overreact or anything. But some people can just accept things in life. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. No, no, no. I'm crazy. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Oh. This ain't a fool. This ain't really true. This ain't a fool. Tell me I'm a dog. Okay, okay, man. Thank you, Sigurd. No, I'm not going to take me for a while. You can take me for granted. She's crazy. I like an explanation why I couldn't buy biscuits and gravy with my mobile order. That I'd have to go back around when I've added stuff to an order before at this McDonald's because I work right down the road. I can understand if y'all were loaded with freaking people, but I mean, yeah, no, I wanted to purchase them. I don't know who's at fault. Yeah, well, that's what he said. My manager said you would have to. I mean, I come to this Donald's all the time. I work right down the street. Never had that problem. Ever. So, can There was probably some misunderstanding. I'm not trying to scream at you. I'm sorry. It's just aggravating. It's very aggravating to me. Aggravating? Hey, no, no. This whole situation is rude. Because the customer. He shouldn't have said that to us. Okay. Can I get yes, you can. them? Like, 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 <laughs> I understand that. I understand that. Well, then I would say that the problem. Actually, some sometimes the uh, uh, the people at the shop like they're on the wrong side, but at the end of the day, it's like most of them, they they realize the mistakes and they they admit it. They apologize to the customers, but the customers are the ones that overreact. You see, yes, this lady, like, she's overreacting. Yes, inside the store there. Okay, well then, he needs to be told that, you know, you can do, I mean, I mean we didn't want to, like, add it on to, you know what I mean? I was like, can I order them? And we asked him twice. And he said no. And I asked him twice. No, you can purchase and he said no. I'd have to drive all the way back yeah. around in order again. Nah, she's we probably telling a lie. We our question and he said for a second time. He said, no. well, my manager said you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs>
Shop in a place where there's a lot of people from different backgrounds, different races, different ethnicity. Oh man. She's probably white though. Absolutely. And then we're not in a country like Daesh thinking personally, right? Everybody can do whatever they want. They have freedom of speech. That's true. No, that's, no you're right. You do have the freedom of speech, right? I understand. But what your freedom of speech is, is saying that you support hate. I don't understand some people these days, guys. Seriously. She just told the manager or the stockkeeper that she doesn't want to shop in a place where there's a lot of races, there's a lot of people of different ethnicity that goes to shop at the same place with her. Who the hell are you? Go to another place! Oh, look at this Karen over here, the one talking. She's offended for no reason. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Huh. White people. White people, why do you people overreact so much on just small things, make it into a big issue. Anyway guys, that's the video. If you want me to react to any other videos, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys with another video. Peace out.